good evening one and all welcome to leaders connect and online leadership community for a special 50th episode where leaders create more leaders or as by the mass leadership my name is yugender currently working in everest ms technology as a hr executive leaders connect is started with the specific objective of creating thousand plus leaders where all the working professionals and business people share their real time challenges either leading self leading others the business on our website www.themasterleadership.com we see all the challenges filter them and every week on wednesday we invite a top management leader from a corporate company who will be giving solutions for our real time challenges on leadership that's when we call us leaders create more leaders let's to introduce ms uh, uh, sangeeta who is the author of the week for us so uh, ms sangeeta in fact uh, hails um, from chennai and sangeet is a chartered accountant and a management accountant completed an executive education from harvard business school and she is also a uh, uh, from a pcc certified uh, from ic icf certified coach pcc so uh, she has uh, written in fact four books and one of the book is where today which is going to be uh, sharing uh, to you all by ms sangeeta and the book's name is called where the mula I am request request Ms. Sangeeta give a little more views about what this Mula is and what this book focuses and how it's going to help uh, certain people who would like to do their take this particular book. So yes, over to Ms. Sangeeta uh, to explain about this book in nutshell and please feel free to share uh, or interact with Mr. Venkat as well. Thank you, Prakash. Where's the Mula? Where's the <laughs> Mula? Do you know? Do you know? It's hidden in your business, in the wheels of your business that you should hack for profit. <coughs> so that's what Where's the Mula is all about. Wonderful. Financial growth hacks for profitability. Do you want your business <coughs> profits to grow? And if so, how can you contribute in whatever role that you're performing? How can you enable the business to get better super you know what i say there's so much of efforts that are gone in to building a business and yet many times one is left with the feeling you know has it been worth all my efforts my sweat my struggle because the financial rewards sometimes do not commensurate the efforts that have been taken True. so it was at this time that Sage Publishers, they got in touch with me and they asked me, how can you help businesses to grow by combining your finance knowledge and experience as a business coach? So, you know, the power of questions. So that's what set me thinking. And I decided, you know, how can I break it down? Because my strength, I believe, is to make it simple. So the questions I asked myself was, how can each business function contribute okay. to the success of the business? Hmm. And what if businesses could pivot on finance for their growth? And what can be some of the easy, simple, actionable pointers that, you know, the team can take to help the business grow? So the culmination of these thoughts is what has resulted in where's the mula. So what I have done is I've taken the eight different business functions and created it, created hacks around it on what can be actions can be done. And if I were to put it in a nutshell, like how Prakash requested, I call it the 5G strategy. So that is start with your goals, generate the kind of actions that needs to be taken. And the third G will then result in growth. And the fourth will then lead to the goodwill of the business. And of course, the last G will be the gain, the gain that the business gets. Right. So what are the contents does the book have? It, as I said, you know, it talks about hacks, a uh, hack wheel for each function of the business. And of course, it also has uh, my thoughts as a business coach and as a finance professional, because the book provides on finance, like I mentioned. And it also has leaders who speak. And, you know, Prakash, thanks for, you know, having me over with Mr. Venkat, because in Where's the Mula, I have invited, uh, I have interviewed the uh, Mr. Harish Lakshman, who's the vice chairman of Rane Group, and he's spoken about the supply aspect of the business. So that apart, uh, you know, it, the book also has some real life stories to inspire. It has core thoughts to measure because 
what you measure gets done, right? And of course, it also talks about some of the common mistakes that uh, can be avoided. Yeah. So very quickly, if I were to, uh, you know, since we are talking about people today and uh, with Mr. Venkat being around, what does the hack wheel of the people function look like? So I've mm -hmm. basically broken it down. So when you say people, of course, the first thing is your rewards and recognition. Yes. So along with rewards and recognition, how do you go about it? So how do you make your teams effective and how do you build high performance teams and what does that translate into financially? And then it's about the productivity where it's about the resource planning and the contribution made by each team. Of course, people is also the investment. You know, how do you invest in the culture and the strategy and what are some of the important HR metrics that need to be tracked? And lastly, on the cost, what sort, you know, how can you do go about the employee engagement, the talent management and so on. So that will <laughs> give you a brief overview. And to conclude, what I would say is leaders drive high performance and that's what results yes, in the financial success. So I say HP for HP, high performance for high profits. <laughs> and that Good. is what it is all about. Yes.